Hey, I'm Elena. Hi, hey, this one. In this video, we're gonna show you about habitat, habitat destruction. So, actually, this one, what causes habitat destruction? Huh? Oh, habitat destruction. Mm. Let's check it out. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, I'm Vincent, and this is Amir. And now, we're gonna talk about pollution. I want to highlight two things, which is air pollution and water pollution. So, let's start! First thing, I want to talk about acid rain. Acid rain is caused by air pollution. It is made by main source, sulfur dioxide, nit nitrogen oxide, and ammonia that release from the factories by human combined with the water vapor to produce acid rain. The question is, how bad is acid rain? Simple, it can cause the plant die. But how? The acid rain change the character of the soil, causing the root of the plants begin to weaken, and it die. For marine life, the pH value of water become too acidic, cause the aquatic life die again. No fish, no sushi. Now, let's continue with water pollution. About 72% of Earth's surface is covered by water. Water in pond, lake and even seas is polluted by human activities. Pollution of water resources is a big problem as it changes the quality of water. This kills aquatic microorganisms, plants, and animals, destroying the entire aquatic ecosystem. The health of both wild and domesticated terrestrial animals also affected when they drink polluted water. Water is polluted either intentionally or unintentionally by industrial waste, by agricultural operation, comedy waste, and also by shipping industry. Deforestation is the practice of cutting down trees for different reasons. It is fundamentally cutting down trees and leaving behind a vast open wasteland. The main reason of deforestation can be classed into three different categories. Basically, industry uses clearing the forest to build factory or to build residential area. The second, for agriculture, cutting down the forest to plant the palm oil. Third, is caused by livestock. For example, in Brazil, deforestation caused by farmers clearing the forest to pasture land. How forest is cleared? Deforestation can happen in a lot of different scales, from small agriculture activities to massive industrial scale of deforestation, where they bring machinery and advanced technologies to clear the jungle. In fact, they can clear the forest in short amount of time. Also, open burning of forests occur in some countries to clear the forest and increase the nutrient of the soil for planting. Environmental impact Deforestation causes a lot of bad influence to the environment. Trees absorb carbon dioxide and as human activities produces more and more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and more trees are cut down, the more we hinder the ability of the planet to balance how much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Another impact of clearing the forest is 
threaten the biodiversity as habitat of animals are reducing. Every year, thousands of different species go extinct around the world due to deforestation. I think I've just reached my limit. I think we should just walk. What do you think we should do for our conservation biology project? I've been thinking about it all day. And I think we should talk about over harvesting that happens in Sabah. Over harvesting? You mean over exploitation? You mean? Yes. I, I think that's a good idea. I think we should do it. Let's go. Let's start with the definition of over exploitation. Over harvesting is another word that can be used in place of over exploitation, which simply means the use of a natural resource by humans to a point that is unsustainable. So, what are the factors that lead to over exploitation? Well, factors which contribute to over exploitation include increase in human population growth, human overconsumption of natural resources, and a lack in the practice of conservation and management of natural resources. There are three main species in Sabah that get affected from over-exploitation. One of them is this, Sumatran rhinoceros. There are only three rhinos in Sabah and they are in captivity. All of them are unable to mate. They are hunted for their horn, meat and their body oil. Another endangered species in Sabah is pygmy elephant. Their tusks are very famous to make as souvenirs and jewels. Other than that, they are also hunted for entertainment values. And now, last but not least, the hawk's bill turtle. Their beautiful shells are hunted to make amazing jewelry and ornaments. So, is there a way to stop overexploitation? Unfortunately, it is almost impossible to stop overexploitation, but we can decrease its impacts. This includes national laws which regulate the trade in endangered species, international agreements to restrict overexploitation of species, restrictions on hunting based off of annual quotas, and give economic incentive to discourage overexploitation. Although it's very hard to achieve, but I think if there's a will, there's a way. Hi, Mani. What are you doing? I'm watching a video about conservation biology. Oh, nice. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna like that. What happened to our biodiversity? I think we should do something to make it better because we are a part of it. Oh, yes. What are you waiting? Let's start now. Depends on what we do in the present.